In the vast landscape of human psychology, few names resonate as profoundly as that of Carl Jung. Jung's groundbreaking work revolutionized our understanding of the human psyche and paved the way for transformative advancements in psychology. At the heart of his theories lie the archetypes, powerful symbols deeply embedded within the collective unconscious. Born in 1875 in Switzerland, Carl Jung embarked on a lifelong exploration of the human mind and spirit. Trained as a psychiatrist, he soon became dissatisfied with the limitations of traditional psychoanalysis, finding it inadequate to fully capture the complexity of the human psyche. Drawing inspiration from his own introspection, mythology and cross-cultural studies, Jung developed a groundbreaking framework that would transform our understanding of the unconscious mind. Archetypes central to Jung's work are universal patterns and images that emerge from the collective unconscious. They represent fundamental aspects of human experience, recurring themes that exist across cultures and time. These archetypes serve as innate blueprints, shaping our thoughts, emotions, behaviors and relationships, often operating beneath conscious awareness. Jung identified a diverse array of archetypes, each with its unique characteristics and significance. They embody universal human experiences, such as the hero's courageous journey, the wise old man, woman's wisdom, or the mother's nurturing presence. These archetypes offer a lens through which we can explore and understand the intricacies of the human psyche. By delving into the archetypes, we gain access to profound insights into ourselves and the world around us. They illuminate the hidden forces that influence our thoughts, motivations and interactions, providing a framework to comprehend the rich tapestry of human existence. Moreover, the archetypes not only shed light on our individual journeys, but also connect us to the shared experiences of humanity. In the following chapters, we embark on a comprehensive exploration of Carl Jung's archetypes. Each archetype unravels a distinct facet of our psychological landscape, offering a glimpse into the depths of the human psyche. We will delve into the profound meanings, transformative power and real-world applications of these archetypes, uncovering their relevance in today's psychology and how they shape our understanding of ourselves and others. The persona represents the social masks we adopt to navigate the external world. It is the aspect of ourselves that we present to others, often concealing our true selves. The term persona is derived from the Latin word for mask, indicating the role we play in different contexts and social situations. Jung emphasized the importance of understanding the persona as a psychological construct that helps us function in society. He noted, the persona is a complicated system of relations between individual consciousness and society. Fittingly enough, a kind of mask designed on the one hand to make a definite impression upon others and on the other to conceal the true nature of the individual. The persona serves as a protective layer, shielding our inner selves from potential judgment or rejection. It allows us to conform to societal expectations, cultural norms, and social roles. However, it is crucial to recognize that the persona is not an authentic representation of who we truly are, but rather a curated projection. As Jung remarked, the persona, the ideal picture of a man as he should be, is inwardly compensated by feminine weakness, and as a result, may change into a domineering tyrant. The persona can have a profound impact on our self-identity, influencing how we perceive ourselves and how others perceive us. It shapes our interactions, behaviors, and even our aspirations. However, when the persona becomes overly rigid or detached from our true selves, it can lead to feelings of disconnection, inauthenticity, and psychological distress. In contemporary psychology, the persona continues to be studied in various fields, including social psychology and identity theory. It sheds light on the complex interplay between the individual and society, exploring how we navigate the expectations and demands placed upon us. 
Understanding and reflecting upon our personas can foster self-awareness, allowing us to consciously choose how we present ourselves to the world while striving for authenticity. The shadow represents the hidden and repressed aspects of our personality. It encompasses the parts of ourselves that we deny or reject, often due to societal conditioning or personal discomfort. The shadow contains our unexpressed desires, fears, flaws and untapped potential. Jung believed that the shadow is an integral part of the human psyche, stating, Everyone carries a shadow, and the less it is embodied on the individual's conscious life, the blacker and denser it is. He emphasized the importance of recognizing and integrating the shadow as a means of achieving psychological wholeness and individuation. The shadow is not inherently negative or evil, rather, it represents the aspects of ourselves that we have disowned or disassociated from our conscious awareness. By acknowledging and embracing the shadow, we can begin to understand and integrate these rejected parts, ultimately leading to a more balanced and authentic sense of self. Jungian analyst Mary Louise Monfranz eloquently expressed the transformative power of embracing the shadow. The shadow, when it is realized, is the source of renewal. The new and productive impulse cannot come from established values of the ego. When there is a creative need, it is much better to turn away from the collective and go into the darkness. Exploring and working with the shadow is a central focus in various therapeutic approaches, such as psychodynamic therapy and depth psychology. By bringing the shadow into conscious awareness, individuals can confront their inner demons, confront unresolved conflicts, and tap into their untapped potential. The shadow work process involves self-reflection, introspection, and often guidance from a trained professional. In contemporary psychology, the shadow archetype has had a profound impact on areas such as self-acceptance, personal growth, and the understanding of human behavior. The anima in man and animus in woman represent the unconscious feminine and masculine qualities within individuals, respectively. They serve as bridges between their personal and collective unconscious, facilitating the integration of gender-related experiences and fostering a balanced psychological development. Jung believed that every individual possesses both masculine and feminine qualities, regardless of their biological sex. The anima animus archetypes represent the aspects of the opposite gender within us, influencing our perceptions, relationships, and self-expression. Jung noted, The anima and animus are two primary anthropomorphic elements of the unconscious. The anima archetype, residing in the collective unconscious of man, embodies feminine qualities such as intuition, sensitivity, and nurturing. It represents the man's connection to the feminine both within himself and in his relationships with women. Similarly, the animus archetype, present in the collective unconscious of women, embodies masculine qualities such as assertiveness, logic, and independence. It represents the woman's connection to the masculine both within herself and in her relationships with men. Jung emphasized the significance of integrating these archetypes for psychological balance and wholeness. By recognizing and embracing the anima or animus, individuals can develop a more complete understanding of their gender identity and engage in healthier relationships. Jung stated, The integration of the anima or animus means the realization of the unconscious, not as something distinct from the ego, but as its most intimate nature. In contemporary psychology, the exploration of the anima animus archetypes has influenced the field of gender psychology. It highlights the importance of understanding and embracing both masculine and feminine qualities within individuals, regardless of gender identity. This perspective challenges rigid gender stereotypes and encourages individuals to explore and integrate diverse aspects of their psyche for personal growth and relational well-being. The self-archetype, considered the central and unifying archetype by Carl Jung, represents the totality of the individual psyche. It encompasses the integration and harmonization of all other archetypes. 
reflecting the striving for wholeness and the process of individuation. Jung viewed the self as the archetype of archetypes, the organizing principle that guides an individual toward psychological integration. He described it as the regulating center that brings together the various archetypes and balances their conflicting demands. The self-archetype is deeply connected to the unconscious and transcends the limitations of the ego. The quest for self-realization and individuation is a lifelong process of self-discovery and personal growth. It involves acknowledging and integrating the various aspects of the psyche, both conscious and unconscious, to achieve psychological wholeness. Jung believed that the self-archetype serves as a guiding force, leading individuals towards their true potential and a sense of purpose. The pursuit of self-realization requires self-reflection, introspection and the exploration of one's dreams, symbols and personal mythology. It involves embracing the challenges and paradoxes of life and developing a conscious relationship with the unconscious. As Jung eloquently stated, in each of us there is another whom we do not know. In contemporary psychology, the concept of self has influenced areas such as humanistic psychology, transpersonal psychology and positive psychology. It underscores the significance of self-actualization, personal growth and the pursuit of authenticity. By embracing the self-archetype, we embark on a transformative journey towards wholeness, self-acceptance and the realization of our true potential. The hero archetype, a central figure in myths and legends across cultures, represents the individual who embarks on a transformative journey, overcomes challenges and emerges victorious. The hero archetype reflects the human capacity for resilience, determination and self-sacrifice in the face of adversity. Carl Jung described the hero's journey as a profound inner quest that often involves confronting inner and outer obstacles battling with inner demons and ultimately achieving personal growth and self-realization. The hero archetype resonates deeply within the collective human psyche. As Jung observed, the hero is the man or woman who has been able to battle past his personal and local historical limitations to the generally valid, normally human forms. Heroes serve as inspirations, embodying qualities such as courage, strength and resilience that awaken similar potentials within individuals. In contemporary psychology, the hero archetype finds application in areas such as resilience, positive psychology interventions and the exploration of the human capacity for personal transformation. It underscores the importance of facing challenges, embracing personal growth opportunities and harnessing inner strength and determination to overcome obstacles in life. The wise old man or woman archetype represents the accumulated wisdom and guidance that comes with age and experience. It symbolizes the integration of knowledge, intuition and a deep understanding of the human condition. The wise old figure serves as a mentor, offering guidance, insight and support to others. Carl Jung emphasized the profound significance of the wise old man and woman archetype in the individuation process, describing it as a source of valuable wisdom and inner guidance. The mana personality is not only capable of transmitting his or her own illumination, but is often the embodiment and representative of collective values as well. In various cultures, the figure of the wise old man and woman appears as a respected and revered guide. They are often portrayed as individuals who have transcended their personal limitations and gained profound insights into the mysteries of life. Their wisdom is sought after in times of confusion, offering solace, clarity and a deeper understanding of oneself and the world. In contemporary psychology, the wise old man woman archetype informs areas such as zero psychology, counseling and mentorship. It underscores the importance of tapping into the wisdom of elders, valuing their life experiences and benefiting from their guidance and support. 
The trickster archetype represents the mischievous, unpredictable and transformative aspect of the human psyche. It embodies the spirit of playfulness, disruption of societal norms and breaking free from rigid structures. The trickster challenges established conventions and invites creative problem solving. Carl Jung recognized the trickster archetype as an essential element in the human psyche, capable of instigating profound transformation. He described the trickster as a figure who disrupts established patterns, shakes up stagnant structures and opens up possibilities for growth and change. Jung noted, the trickster figure in myth and folklore is an archetype that represents the uncontrolled, undirected, irrational aspects of human behavior. The trickster's unconventional and often unpredictable nature invites us to embrace chaos, venturing to the unknown and break free from the limitations of rigid thinking. In contemporary psychology, the trickster archetype is explored in areas such as creativity, humor and the study of unconventional thinking. It underscores the importance of embracing chaos and uncertainty as catalysts for personal and societal growth. The mother archetype represents the nurturing, caring and life-giving aspects of the human experience. It embodies the universal image of the mother, both as a biological caregiver and as a symbol of unconditional love and nurturing. The mother archetype is deeply rooted in our collective unconscious and shapes our relationships and experiences of nurturance. Carl Jung recognized the profound influence of the mother archetype, stating, The mother is the first meaningful other encountered by the child and is the matrix within which the personality first develops. The mother archetype represents the source of sustenance, emotional support, and comfort that enables healthy psychological development. In contemporary psychology, the mother archetype is studied in areas such as attachment theory, maternal infant bonding, and the exploration of caregiving roles. It highlights the significance of nurturing relationships and the impact of early experiences on psychological development. The mother archetype encompasses not only the biological mother, but also the broader concept of motherhood as a symbol of unconditional love, compassion and nurturing qualities. By recognizing and honoring the mother archetype, we can cultivate qualities of empathy, compassion and caretaking in our own relationships and foster a nurturing environment for personal growth and well-being. The father archetype represents the figure of authority, guidance and protection it embodies the paternal qualities of strength, discipline and wisdom. The father archetype symbolizes the role of the father in providing structure, stability and moral guidance within the family and society. Carl Jung noted, The father is the representative of the authority of the collective unconscious, which becomes effective in the consciousness of the son. The father archetype plays a significant role in shaping the development of an individual's moral compass, identity formation and understanding of societal norms. The father archetype extends beyond the biological father figure and encompasses the broader concept of paternal authority and guidance. It represents the qualities of protection, provision and responsible leadership. The father archetype influences our perceptions of authority figures and our relationship with rules, discipline and the external world. In contemporary psychology, the father archetype is examined in areas such as developmental psychology, family systems theory and the study of paternal influence on child development. It emphasizes the importance of positive paternal involvement, providing structure and support for healthy psychological development. The child archetype represents the qualities of innocence, curiosity and wonder. It embodies the childlike qualities that exist within each individual, regardless of chronological age. The child archetype reflects the capacity for playfulness, imagination and spontaneous joy. The psychology of the child responds in a great measure to the psychology of the unconscious. 
the child archetype represents the unconditioned and unburdened aspects of the psyche, free from societal expectations and constraints. The child archetype invites us to embrace a sense of wonder, curiosity and openness to experience. It nurtures the capacity for creative thinking, exploring new possibilities and engaging with the world with fresh eyes. In psychology, the child archetype is explored in areas such as play therapy, positive psychology and the study of creativity. It underscores the importance of maintaining a connection to one's inner child, embracing playfulness and fostering a sense of awe and curiosity throughout life. The sage archetype represents the relentless pursuit of knowledge, wisdom and understanding. It embodies the quest for intellectual growth, critical thinking and the integration of insights into a broader understanding of the human condition. Carl Jung noted, The sage is a person who has been confronted with the problems of life and has digested them. The sage archetype embodies the accumulation of knowledge, life experience and a deep understanding of the complexities of existence. The sage archetype inspires us to embark on a lifelong journey of learning, reflection and self-discovery. It represents the ability to tap into the wellsprings of wisdom within oneself and in the teachings of others. In contemporary psychology, the sage archetype finds applications in the study of expertise, cognitive development and educational psychology. It underscores the importance of lifelong learning, critical thinking and the cultivation of wisdom as a means of personal and intellectual fulfillment. The lover archetype represents the qualities of passion, desire and intimacy it embodies the longing for emotional and physical connections, the pursuit of pleasure and the exploration of deep relationships. Carl Jung recognized the profound influence of the lover archetype, stating, The lover is a living symbol that expresses the love of life and by extension the love of oneself and others. The lover archetype encompasses the full range of human emotions, from joy and ecstasy to longing and vulnerability. The lover archetype invites us to embrace our capacity for emotional depth, vulnerability and authentic connection. It nurtures the ability to experience and express love, passion and intimacy in various relationships and life experiences. In psychology, the lover archetype is explored in areas such as attachment theory, romantic relationships and the study of human sexuality. It underscores the significance of healthy and fulfilling intimate relationships for overall well-being. The magician archetype represents the transformative power of knowledge, skill and spiritual insight. It embodies the ability to bring about change, manifest intentions and tap into hidden potentials. The magician represents the creative power of the mind, the imagination and the ability to transform reality. The magician archetype reflects the human capacity to harness transformative energies and bring about meaningful change in both the inner and outer worlds. The magician archetype invites us to explore our creative potential, tap into our intuition and cultivate our ability to manifest our desires. It represents the understanding that thoughts, beliefs and intentions have the power to shape one's reality. In contemporary psychology, the magician archetype finds applications in the study of transpersonal psychology, mystical experiences and the exploration of consciousness transformation. It underscores the importance of inner wisdom, intuition and the cultivation of personal and spiritual growth. The orphan archetype represents the longing for belonging, connection and a sense of identity. It embodies the experience of feeling abandoned, lost or disconnected from others and society. The orphan is a symbol of abandonment, of the feeling of being lost and alone and of the search for a sense of belonging. The orphan archetype reflects the universal human experience of longing for connection, understanding and a place to belong. 
The orphan archetype invites individuals to acknowledge and heal their feelings of abandonment or disconnection. It fosters resilience, self-reliance, and the capacity to create meaningful connections and a sense of belonging. In psychology, the orphan archetype is examined in areas such as attachment theory, identity formation, and the study of resilience in individuals who have faced adversity. It highlights the significance of creating supportive relationships and finding a sense of belonging in personal development. The warrior archetype embodies qualities of courage, determination and protection. It represents the fierce drive to overcome obstacles, defend what is valued and fight for justice. The warrior represents the strength and resilience of the human spirit, the courage to face challenges and the determination to protect what is sacred. The warrior archetype reflects the innate human capacity for resilience, bravery and the ability to take a stand for what is right. The warrior archetype invites us to cultivate inner strength, embrace challenges and fight for our own values and ideals. It represents the embodiment of personal power, assertiveness and the willingness to confront adversity. In psychology, the warrior archetype is explored in areas such as resilience, trauma recovery and the study of assertiveness and empowerment. It emphasizes the importance of developing inner strength and resilience to navigate life's challenges and protect what is valued. The liberator archetype represents the desire to break free from limitations, challenge oppressive systems and promote individual and collective liberation. It embodies the pursuit of freedom, empowerment and the quest for authenticity. The Liberator represents the transformative power of breaking free from societal expectations, embracing personal empowerment and championing social change. The Liberator archetype reflects the human capacity to challenge oppressive structures and strive for individual and collective liberation. The Liberator archetype invites us to question societal norms, challenge limiting beliefs and actively work towards personal and social transformation. It represents the embodiment of activism, empowerment and the pursuit of justice. In psychology, the Liberator archetype is examined in areas such as social justice, empowerment and the study of activism. It underscores the importance of personal empowerment and social change in fostering psychological well-being and societal progress. The Jester archetype represents the qualities of humor, playfulness and lightness of being. It embodies the ability to find joy in life, embrace spontaneity and bring laughter to oneself and others. The Jester represents the transformative power of humor, playfulness and the ability to bring lightness to serious situations. The Jester archetype reflects the human capacity for lightheartedness, wit and the ability to find humor even in the most challenging circumstances. The Jester archetype invites us to cultivate a playful spirit, embrace humor and bring levity to life's ups and downs. It represents the embodiment of creative expression, spontaneity and the ability to bring joy and laughter to oneself and others. In psychology, the Jester archetype is explored in areas such as positive psychology, laughter therapy and the study of humor. It underscores the importance of embracing humor as a coping mechanism, fostering positive emotions and enhancing overall well-being. The artist creative archetype represents the innate human capacity for artistic expression, imagination and aesthetic sensibility. It embodies the quest for self-expression, the pursuit of beauty and the ability to tap into the depths of the creative process. Carl Jung recognized the profound influence of the artist's creative archetype, stating The artist represents the transformative power of imagination, the ability to give form to the ineffable and the exploration of the depths of the human experience. The artist's creative archetype reflects the human capacity to harness the transformative power of artistic expression. It invites us to embrace our creative potential explore different forms of artistic expression and tap into our unique imagination. 
It represents the embodiment of aesthetic sensibility, the ability to see beauty in the world and the power to evoke emotions through artistic endeavors. In psychology, the artistic creative archetype is examined in areas such as art therapy, creativity studies and the study of aesthetic experiences. It underscores the importance of artistic expression as a means of self-discovery, emotional healing and personal transformation. The mentor-guide archetype represents the wise and experienced figure who offers guidance, support and wisdom to others. It embodies the qualities of mentorship, teaching and sharing knowledge to facilitate personal growth and development. The mentor represents the transformative power of guidance, wisdom and the ability to facilitate the growth and development of others. The mentor-guide archetype reflects the human capacity to support and inspire others on their life journeys. The mentor-guide archetype invites individuals to embrace their roles as mentors, guides or teachers in various domains of life. It represents the embodiment of wisdom, empathy and the ability to foster growth and transformation in others. In psychology, the mentor-guide archetype is explored in areas such as counseling, coaching and the study of mentoring relationships. It underscores the importance of mentorship and guidance in facilitating personal and professional development. The healer archetype represents the capacity to facilitate healing, restoration and transformation. It embodies the qualities of compassion, empathy and the ability to promote physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. Carl Jung eloquently remarked, The healer represents the transformative power of compassion, the ability to facilitate the healing and integration of body, mind and spirit. The healer archetype reflects the human capacity to offer support, care and facilitate healing processes in others. The healer archetype invites individuals to embrace their roles as healers, caregivers or facilitators of well-being. It represents the embodiment of empathy, healing presence and the ability to facilitate the journey towards wholeness and transformation. In psychology, the healer archetype is examined in areas such as psychotherapy, alternative healing modalities and the study of mind-body connection. It underscores the importance of holistic approaches to healing and the integration of body, mind and spirit for overall well-being. As we draw to the end of our exploration of Carl Jung's archetypes, we found ourselves enriched with a profound understanding of the human psyche and its intricacies. Through these archetypes, we have delved into the depths of our collective unconscious, unraveling the tapestry of universal human experiences that shape our thoughts, behaviors and relationships. Jung's pioneering work has left an indelible mark on the field of psychology, illuminating the path towards self-discovery, personal growth and psychological integration. His insights into the archetypes have not only deepened our understanding of ourselves, but also enriched our comprehension of the world around us. Each archetype we have encountered, from the hero's transformative journey to the sage's pursuit of wisdom, from the mother's nurturing presence to the jester's playful spirit, offers unique insights into the human condition. They speak to the universality of our experiences, transcending time, culture and individual differences. By embracing and integrating these archetypes, we tap into the wellspring of human potential and embark on a transformative journey towards wholeness. Moreover, the relevance of Jung's archetypes extends far beyond the realm of theoretical psychology. We find their echoes in various domains of life, from literature and mythology, to art, culture and even our everyday interactions. They resonate within us, urging us to explore the depths of our being, embrace our diverse inner landscape and foster connections with others on a profound level. In today's psychology, the archetypes shape therapeutic approaches, guide personal growth and development and offer valuable insights into the complexities of human relationships. From clinical settings to educational environments, from organizational dynamics to the pursuit of individual well-being, the archetypes provide a lens through which we can navigate the rich tapestry of human existence. As we reflect on the transformative power of Carl Jung's archetypes, we are reminded of our shared humanity. 
our interconnectedness and the infinite possibilities that lie within each of us. By embracing these archetypes, we embark on a profound journey of self-discovery and self-realization, aligning our lives with the deeper currents of meaning and purpose. So let us carry forward the wisdom of the archetypes, integrating their insights into our lives, relationships and endeavors. May we nurture the hero's courage, the sage's wisdom, the mother's compassion and the countless other archetypal energies that resonate within us. Through this integration, we unlock our true potential, contribute to the betterment of our world and embark on a lifelong quest towards psychological wholeness and fulfillment. May their wisdom continue to illuminate our paths, inspire our journeys and bring us closer to the essence of what it means to be fully human.